Bride of France. 1491. No, it is time for your sickness to end. It is time for your salvation. You are in heaven. I don't understand. Lay upon this table and let us enlighten you. Wait, Genevieve, you don't know that the bloodletting will cure her. Silence! You are not from Cambrai. No, I am not, Matron. You may call me Genevieve. I trust you. Genevieve, do as you must. No poison will drain from your body. Sanalo. Amen. Amen. You will pay for your wickedness. We repudiate you. No! Don't hurt her. She is damned. Please, Father Lamoureux, let's not be rash. I guess I must offer her one final chance at salvation. This is your last opportunity, witch. Surrender yourself to God and you will be saved. <laughs> Do not exert yourself, Jean-Francois. Do you recant? You are unrepentant. You are caught exposing your shameful parts, copulating with dogs, dancing naked in these holy woods. Lane with the devil. You make dogs and hounds of hell rise up. You used unholy forces, fornicated. I fornicated. Yes, you did. And you also were caught brewing potions that only witches brew. She is not a witch. She is a woman. Please, Father, spare her. Stay out of this. Your sainted mother. Satan is my mother. She is possessed by a devil, Father. We need to perform an exorcism. I know what demonic possession is. You also know this woman. This is no woman. This is a servant of Satan. She is a child of God, Father, and you need to save her. Her death will save her soul. <laughs> ah! Do not bite me, witch. You cannot hurt me. I'm impervious to your wicked ways. You lie. My curse is in your blood, and it will strike your children's children's children from generation to generation until I get my revenge. Dogs will rape your women and tear out their breasts. They will be split from throat to gullet! I am a priest. I have no children, but all humanity. May God have mercy on your soul.
nice of you to join us, Chandra. Class is nearly over. Sorry, Chris, what the nothing. La Femina, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. As I was saying, in 1491, the Cambria of France, there were several nuns that were burned alive. Women who did experiments in the abbeys were often tried and executed as witches. 1491, Cambria of France, burned by fire. Excellent. <laughs> excellent, excellent presentation. And what did you think, Emily? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, it was interesting, I guess. I mean, I didn't even know Leona was in this class. <laughs> what about you, Andy? What did you think? It was good. I thought it was interesting how so many priests and so-called witches settled into our community. Pretty on you, Annie. You're straight off the bus from Mexico, just like me, girl. Proud oh. of it. Do you know what I mean? Mira los hot chicas! The slammer roll. The slammer roll. Nicole, everything's okay. Please, just sit down. Just relax, Nicole, okay? Calm down. Just calm down. She's just upset about centuries of men oppressing women. It wasn't just the men. Bitches. Bitches and whores. They burned and they couldn't stop it. Yes, in Salem, historically, it's true. Women often accused other women of being witches. Like the crucible. Yeah, the girl in that story was a slut who screwed the guy who was accusing his wife. Nicole's role model, for sure. Are you nuts? She's a virgin. Thank you for sharing that with us, Annie. Yeah, I owe you one. Nicole, why don't you have a seat? You're starting to freak everyone out. So Nicole's giving it to everyone but you? Two-legged or four-legged? Oh! Oh! Residence, Sam speaking. Sam, something's happened to Nicole. No, no, no. My Nicole doesn't do drugs. She doesn't even drink. She missed an entire semester of school. Her therapist said she suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. Nicole, Nicole, stop, stop. We had the witchcraft lecture today, you know. Come, Bri. Okay, look, I'll keep the incident as quiet as I possibly can, but you know that girl, June? Yes, I do. Sam, how well do you know your daughter? Come on, let's go. Should I be worried about this girl named June? I wonder if anyone's gonna buy that old Montford house across the street after all those terrible things that happened. You've been given a week suspension by the school. You'll have plenty of time to think about all this. You're not going anywhere. You're grounded. You can't ground me. Well, I, I pay your tuition. You live under my roof. Look, don't do that. That was your mother's. I'll, I'll let you move out as soon as you start acting like an adult, but for right now, you're not. So you're gonna stay here, okay? And you can just call Derek. You can let him know that you're not going anywhere, all right? You're getting too intense. Your priorities are skewed. Right, because you know so much about me. I know that you're capable of better behavior than this. What's my favorite ice cream? Chocolate. I'm allergic to chocolate. Vanilla. You never listen. I, I, we, there are more important things than ice cream, okay? I, I have no time for this. No, you don't have time for me. Well, not when you act like a child. Butter pecan, you jerk. Lamarow 
residence. Remind me never to forget your birthday or our anniversary. What's my favorite ice cream? Uh, butter pecan double scoop. Not that you'll be getting any after that stunt you pulled today in class. Seriously, my neck still hurts. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I went crazy. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Look, I'll be fine. My neck will be just fine. Just count me in the ranks of enlightened men. I don't know why those jerks take that class anyway. Because it's the new requirement. I'm glad guys are taking a class like that. <laughs> yeah, and they want to score. You know, kind of like me, only I'm not. I'm sorry. Nicole, <laughs> that was a joke, okay? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Why don't you come over to Chandra's and swim? I can't. I'm grounded. Like you need to be by yourself. What's your dad thinking? She's 13. Nicole, you up for a little adventure? What kind? How about spending the night in the creepiest place in town? <laughs> the old monster place. When? When? Eight o'clock, so we can have time to get our party stuff. Woo! Sleeping bags. Not that any of us will be sleeping. <laughs> Sorry, he's afraid. Anyways, be ready at eight. And I was just about to use my hypnosis on him. Oh, come on, Annie, like that hypnotism junk really works? <laughs> Wouldn't be so sure. How else do you think she got you to date her? Mm. <laughs> Come on, guys. Start this way. Come on. Come on. To old Lady Munford's place. This place is officially creepy. Well, duh. That's the point. Well, I'm surprised you're even here. Maybe Penny and your first daddy doesn't want you to do anything. Hey. And that horse play, children. Let's go join in on the festivities with the dead. Right this way.
And this room is called the foyer. That's a funny word, isn't it? You ever think about that word? Foyer? Foyer? Anyway, this house has electricity in some of the rooms, some of the time. Let's let the games begin. <laughs> right this way. No power? Isn't this like some form of a hazard or something? Don't worry. We'll create our own electricity. Sounds good to me. Let me say I be the plug and you can be in my power supply. Ah! Well, anyway, right this way, the dining room. And the Lord said, let there be light. So this is the dining room. All that I ask that you keep it clean, guys. I don't want to be your maid. No beer stains, no crumbs. And I don't leave out any condom wrappers. <laughs> right. I cannot believe anybody paid you to watch over their mansion. I can make a believer out of anyone, hot chipotle. <laughs> Just try me some time. <sighs> no thanks. Well, anyway, down the hall to the right, you got a kitchen. Then to the left, there's an office. Those are the only two modern rooms in the house. So let's see them then. Oh, like you'll ever need to see a kitchen. Mm-hmm. Show us the office then, Lydia. And in this room, you got a table, in case you all want to play some board games later on. Ooh. <laughs> Old lady Munford was, I guess, into uh, the human anatomy. <laughs> She's actually quite an expert on it. She used to collect all sorts of books and shit like that. She knew her stuff. And of course, no creepy home would be right without old Mr. Skeleton here. Say, Emily, I think he's got a boner for you. <laughs> right this way. Come on, keep up. So this door leads to the basement into what I affectionately call the torture room. Upstairs, we got some bedrooms for later on tonight, if you know what I'm saying. And then last but not least, we got the parlor room. Follow me. Nick? Nick? I love this place. I always felt as if I'd grown up here. Well, had it been an apartment? Oh, what? Let's party! Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was good. Things are considered, Nicole. Sorry. Oh. Thank you. So what do we do all by ourselves in this big old place? What you usually do in creepy places? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. None of that tonight. Besides, we're sleeping separately tonight, just like when we were together. Well, this sucks anyways. Four girls, two guys. Whoever did this math fails. Well, Nicole's got Derek, but uh, Jess is fair game for the rest of us. Isn't that right, lover boy? Well, Annie and I are sort of dating, but uh, we're not too serious right now. Yeah, so. I don't think so. But we can tell ghost stories. <laughs> what? <laughs> and eat. <laughs> I made perritos. <laughs> yeah, we are all right. Wow. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> You're a great cook, Annie. Thank you. Nick? Emily? Mmm. What happens to What? Let's get the munchies like Shaggy and Scooby Doo. Zoinks! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I was supposed to meet Leanne at the Montfort place. A very private place. This Leanna wants to be a student? No, she's gonna help me take Nicole. Nicole? Yeah, hot girl, idiot boyfriend, controlling father. Needs someone to show her the love. 
This liana can't help you if you have no self-control. I'm gonna explore my sexuality away from stupid men. Don't worry about me. If you want, you can come and help me dome her. Okay, I have to run. She lives across from the place and her father is usually at church right now, so she'll be alone. Meet me there. So, Emily, why don't you tell everybody those freaky stories about old lady Montford? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, seriously, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, Mrs. Montford was alone, right? Her husband was off on a sales trip to Philadelphia when actually he was screwing his secretary in Jamaica. Men. Or maybe it was Aruba. Anyway, so she's sitting downstairs right where we are now, having a martini and waiting for the gardener to arrive because she was having a little affair of her own. All of a sudden, she gets a phone call from her plastic surgeon. Seems she was in need of a serious facelift because the gardener kept canceling every time he was supposed to come over and trim her rose bushes. So because she's also diddling the plastic surgeon, he makes a house call. Trust me, it's gonna make you beautiful. Are you sure this can help me? Come to me. In a moment, you'll be transformed. Draw your own conclusions. But ever since then, people say Mrs. Montford haunts these walls, carrying with her the original mask and wreaking vengeance on anyone who dares enter. <laughs> Or not. All I'm saying is that Nicole's a freak. What you know about Nicole, or anything else for that matter, could fill a shot glass. I know that making like a dog isn't normal unless you are one. Grow up. She's had a rough life. How would you feel if you found out one day that your father, who was a priest, was having an affair? And then your mother goes crazy and dies when her boyfriend throws her down the stairs? unless it wasn't the boyfriend. Ow, bitch! Too hard! Look, all I'm saying is Nicole's weird. She will die. Stop joking around. She will pay for you floating up. Derek? Justin, is that you? Derek, 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 Look, Emily's lame story aside, nothing creepy has happened yet. <laughs> okay. Think we can find our way back with some candles? I heard that Nicole pulled a Lizzie Borden on her mom and the boyfriend. Nice try for Nia Niz. Whoa, Annie! What's in those talk of steroids? Or are you booked? Hey guys, where are you? Hey, the lights are back on. Hey guys. Oh, so anyway, I'm glad you're not itchy anymore. What were you doing in there? Sugar plum, come on, don't go sour now. Look, it's not that serious between us. Stop now. We're not 
serious, remember? So, which one of you losers turned off the lights in the kitchen and started throwing crap at me? Well, it wasn't us. We were busy. It wasn't us. Where's Nicole? Uh, I think she's still in the bathroom. Okay, this place is officially creepy. <laughs> no way is this place haunted. The gardener chopped up Mrs. Monfort, plain and simple. Gross? Yes. Ghostly? No. Just take a look, okay? Something's weird. We should find Nick and leave. You know what? I bet Chandra's behind all this. You know, she scares you and me away, and then she gets Justin all for herself. Upstairs. Feed my revenge. You killed Chandra! I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay, Nicole. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You saw what happened to Chandra? What kind of a sick joke is this? This is way too Scooby-Doo for me. Excuse me, nobody dies in Scooby-Doo. And the ghosts, they're all people with masks. Yeah, like the gardener. Well, why don't we try to get out the back door? There is no way out. Everybody just shut up for a second, okay? Justin, get us the hell out of here. Why don't we try the windows? I'll try upstairs. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry. I... Sam, I'm worried about Nicole too. I mean, it's this town, that old Montford house. You see this? This is my cousin. What? You're a Montfort? On my mother's side. My Aunt Jenny was her mother. That was a terrible thing that that gardener did. You know, that was just an easy way for the police to close a high-profile case. You, you talking in conspiracy theories now, Frank? Conspiracy, yeah. The trouble always seemed to follow the Monfort family. Just like it does yours. At least Nicole's safe. It's horrible. Don't touch it! Oh. Well, what are you doing? You just disturbed a crime scene. Do we want that thing looking at us? Well, I guess we couldn't just leave it like that. I think that's the same masks that killed a lady Munford. We should get this to the police. How? The doors and the windows are all locked up tighter than Nicole's snatch. You are disgusting. What about the basement? The basement? Dude, that's a torture chamber, man. That's the last place where there'll be a way out. There is no way out. Will you stop saying that, Notre Dame? It's Nostradamus, dumbass. Dude, this is stupid. We all got cell phones. We can all just call 911. No service. All our providers can't suck. What about the landlines? I'm dead. This place hasn't had service in years. I thought someone paid you to keep this place up. They paid me to look after the place, not live in it. Let's at least try and see if there's a way out downstairs. This used to be an insane asylum before Lady Montfort bought it. Doctors tried unconventional therapies. Some say they slipped into the occult, but this room survived. Come on, guys, this really is serious. I mean, just somebody killed Chandra. Annie, did you see anything? Yeah, I mean, the lights went out and some crap was thrown at me. Well, you, Emily, and Derek, you're the only three I'm counted for. It was Annie. How could you say that? What? You said it was Annie. No, I said it wasn't Annie. I heard you say it was. You're all ganging up against me. I thought you were my 
my oh, friends. Oh, oh. Doesn't look like we're going to go to the library anytime soon. I have no escape! The prince of the prince of darkness! Who the hell are you? I am Genevieve Montfort and I will have my revenge. What'd you do with Nicole? I definitely don't get paid enough for this. Where's Nicole? Thing for Derek. I heard you. And right now she's showing me no love. What's that about you? Poor Nicole. I mean, I really do think she's lost it. I, I don't think this is a hoax. If that's the case, I can protect you. <laughs> yeah, right. I just look irresponsible. Right now? You're the most beautiful woman in the world. Well, if I'm the most beautiful woman in the world, then. You won't mind doing something for me. What do you want me to do? Check out that bloody stump and see if it's Chandra. The whole place is sealed. Perfect. Then we can take this taming so and well, not easy. But prolonging the pain will bring us both pleasure. I'll treat you right. I'll show you love like never before since. Now bend over the table and I'll make this easy for you. Come on, assume the position. I... 
I think I'm in the wrong house. May I help you? Father, you're Nicole's dad. Do you know my daughter? Did you harm her? <laughs> no, but I think June might try to. What? June? You mean June from my class, June? She plans to lure her somewhere. She wants to dominate her. <laughs> what are you talking about? June's into exploring pleasure and pain. You'd be surprised how many people are. But as far as I know, Nicole isn't. So I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to her. Well, I can assure you, Nicole is safe. She's sleeping in the next room. Well, if for some reason you discover she's not so safe, you might want to check out the old mansion. My name is Genevieve de Montfort. Montfort? I thought all the Montforts were dead.
to show you something. Where did these come from? There are four. And one on Chandra. That makes five maths. Six of us. Which means one of us planned this. That's impossible. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think I was drugged. I was, I was here and I was imagining all this stuff and, and June was here and she was hitting me and I was hitting myself, but I think it was the killer. Did, did you see anything? Yeah, June was in there and, and she was beating me. Or you imagined this, didn't you? Maybe it was Nicole. How do you say that? She's trying to blame me! She's been going through a tough time. We all have. Okay, if it was Nicole, how come June's not wearing a mask? Nicole wouldn't hurt us. I don't know what I was thinking. What did you do? You don't do that to me ever! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ladies, please. Chandra dissed you and then this mask. You did all of this, didn't you? I didn't do anything. I don't even remember half of today. That's convenient. I don't remember. I swear. Just please get me out of here. You have a key, and you were gone. I mean, you could have run out, just left us, now that your boyfriend and your best friend are missing, huh? Well, I've got a key, too. That's right. How long have you been screwing Justin? What? Oh, you've always thought she was hot shit. How long have you been playing me? Longer than you've been playing Annie? Man, this is no time for your woman's scorn chick jealousies, all right? Look, bottom line, I've got a key, she's got a key, and we can't get through the windows, right? They're locked shut tight. What are you suggesting? <sighs> There's something unnatural going on here. I don't, I don't know what it is. I sense it. It's some kind of a weird presence. Are you saying a ghost killed Chandra? You told that story. Maybe you conjured the spirit of Mrs. Montfort. I'm not a devil worshiper. Your father's completely brainwashed you. My father loves me just because I haven't slept with 20 guys. For your information, me either. Yeah, that's right. Not even him. Yet. Look, someone attacked us in the dining room, carrying this monstrosity. Well, it wasn't me, I swear. You believe me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. Then it was Mrs. Montfort. Guys, we have to show you something. She doesn't remember half of today. She has the right idea. I just, I just remember her body. And then I blacked out and the next thing I know I'm in the hall with, with this. There's gotta be a way of figuring out what the hell's going on around here. If only we had a crystal ball. I've got a better idea. Isn't this a little lame? You have a better idea? I'd like to try it. I'm in. <sighs> Is the spirit of Mrs. Montford in this house? No. No. Did Derek and Annie make out? Ugh. No. no. Is there an evil presence here? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Did it kill Chandra in June? Yes. yes. Is it one of us? Yes. Who is it? A N N I E. No way. You found the masks. You found June's body. You were with Chandra. You have it bad for Derek. No, I don't. And you know how to hypnotize people. You can't hypnotize someone into killing their own friend. Am I a murderer? No. Do I have it bad for Derek? Yes. <sighs> okay, dude, who, who's been locking us up in here and who's the murderer? L. A. M. O. U. R. 
A U X. Now wait a minute. I'm I'm not a good speller, but doesn't that spell the so unless Nicole's father's gonna... It's okay, Nicole. It's just a toy. No one thinks you did anything. There is no way out. Just calm down. I am calm! <gasps> Where are you going? You can't hide. I'll find you. I need... What? Okay, she saved you. Dude, can't handle your woman? You mean like you? When did you grow up? Take your revenge! Alright, enough is enough! Bring it on! Huh! Okay, Emily. Do you really want that idiot as your boyfriend? He's all yours. Huh! Come on, come on, witch! I'm not scared of you! Ah! I'm yours. Come on, give me some loving, sweetheart. I'm man enough. Whoa. Does the condemned man need a last request? I don't smoke. See, Nicole's right in here. She's gone. Why would she go there? Frank, Nicole is in danger. We all are. We have to move now. Oh, I heard some of my relatives were at Cambrai. Frank, every family has its skeletons. Don't you get it? Our families may have moved here, but we can't hide from our past. Our ancestors poisoned those girls at Cambrai. Do I have to drink? It seems to make the others so sick. We all must drink. Even I. All of us. Sister, we have sinned against God. Our Father on Earth is offering us salvation. Eternal salvation. All you need to do is drink from this cup. You will drink it. Would you like for this to be easy or hard? Sinner. But I don't understand. How have I sinned? Drink it now! Wait, Mother Superior. We will drink. Jean and I will drink. But let us follow your example, please. There is no need for that. Stop! Our bodies and our souls are pure. We've upset the Holy Father. You're a witch, and you've schooled these other women in the devil's dark ways. You must be punished for your sins against God and man. They did wrong. The devil possessed them. Why didn't Lamoureux know that? He did. But the flesh is weak. You mean after all these years, Sam, you didn't know that? Didn't know what? <sighs> Why is it, Father, that you always seek to punish me? Can you not see that for some pain brings intense pleasure? What pleasures you, Father? keep us trapped here forever, can she? How am I supposed to know? Well, you don't seem to know much. I don't know Nicole anymore. Is that because you and Derek are new best friends? Mm -hmm. Fine. 
Run off. Get killed. See if I care. Hey, I, I was just kidding. <sighs> Fine. Justin, if I were a jerk like you, where would I have run off to? Please tell me I'm wrong. Derek! Derek! Oh my god, wake up! Derek, please! I hate this place. Nicole has my key. Why would you have a key to this house? Uh, Mrs. Monfort, she was housebound, you know, and I used to give her communion, so she let me have a key. And Nicole used to come here and think things over when she, when she wanted to. Derek, are you okay? Hey. worthy of this. You'll have to earn it through pain. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Can't we just get out of here and go shopping? There's a midnight madness here. Oh! I always liked you. Really. I just wanted you to ditch that guy. I always felt bad for you. With your mom and then your dad. I should let you go. Don't tell me. Friend. Boyfriend. Your father. I know what I have to do. So it is true. Nicole, hey. Oh. I'm sorry. This isn't what it looks like. Uh, Nicole, we didn't mean to. Nicole, uh, please, put the mask down.
I've lost Nicole. beg for forgiveness for your soul. With all my might, I will. Great man, you now prevent this knock. Destroy him! You kill him! Do it now! I will let you. No, Sam, we must prepare for this. So Nicole's ancestor seduced. My ancestor was executed. You see, there were two priests in love with the same woman. Wait, you know me. Strengthened by the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and by the blessed Michael the Archangel, and the blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, and all the saints and the powerful within the Holy Authority, underneath our ministry, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil. No, I have her. I have possessed her for all eternity. God arises, his enemies are scattered. All those that hate him flee before him. The most high God oh, commands oh. you. Behold, the cross of the Lord. Flee, all ye enemies. We freely drive you from us, whoever you may be. All you wicked powers, all you satanic evil ones. No, you think an exorcism can save her now? It's too late. It's never too late. I will make of this an inferno. Most cunning serpent. 
No more will you dare to defy the human race, or persecute the church, or drive any of God's elect and sift them as weak. Oh, God, the most powerful Lord, who you dare to say that you are equal with, will no more accept your wickedness. God, who tries to save all those in his flock and teach them the true knowledge of being saved. God the Father commands you! 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 God forbid you die! I'm sorry for what happened to Genevieve. All those wicked sins and horrors of incest and rape. We beseech thee to hear us. We beseech thee to hear us. I love you. Save her! With medicine, of course. Do whatever you feel you have to do. I'm gonna go tell Derek. Terrible. Absolutely a tragedy. I heard the gardener who did the original murder broke out of jail and got in. Is that so? Justin and Nicole summer around the place about a week ago. You don't say. That's what I told the cops. I don't see any other explanation, do you? Maybe the kids were trespassing. What do you think, Mr. LaFamina? I'm uh, willing to say or do anything that helps Nicole. You can definitely believe the gardener did this. He bought those masks from some weird medieval store. Yeah, that's how, that sounds... yeah. Where else would he get them? From one generation to the next. Sadly, our family's legacy continues. Mm -hmm. you to blame yourself for any of these things that happened, okay? I just want you to look at it as a, a chance to have a full, rich life, helping others. I really think everything's gonna be okay now. They didn't deserve to die. Yeah, no. Neither did our ancestors. An eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. Very wise. Now eat up. Look at your spoon. You're gonna need your strength. You know why? Because you're getting out soon. 